Hi guys, welcome to the fourth part of this Ajax pagination tutorial series and in this video we're going to be having a look at how to set up our custom.js file so we can be querying into our ajax.php file and simulate an Ajax call to our database. Okay, alright so now that we've gotten our HTML setup and the Ajax page setup so now let's go in our custom.js file and as usual we're going to first write a self invoking function so we'll say function and we'll self invoke it so it accepts a jquery variable so jquery pass it with that and then it accepts a parameter of dollar sign okay so next we're going to say document dot ready because we want to only do something when a document is ready so it seems like I spelled that wrong so document dot ready and that as well accepts a function okay all right so if you remember if you're familiar with the templating system you will know that first we have to um, query and get our template from our HTML so how we do that is we say underscore dot template so underscore dot template you pass it a string which actually represents your template and then it returns to you a function which you can just call in and pass an object so it creates whatever your template needs to do right so if you remember our template has an ID of post template so what we're going to do is we're going to call this template here yeah, and then pass it a string so how we get that string we say we first get our template post template and then we say dot html on that that shall return us this whole um, template here as a string and then when we pass that into the te template function it will return a function to us which we can call so next we create another variable called items per page and by default we're going to give it a value of five all right so it seems like i made a mistake here I'll just rectify that all right so next what we're going to do we're going to create a function which is what will be actually handling our call to the ajax.php file so it's going to be called load post and it's going to be a function which takes one argument which is a url and first thing we're going to do is we're going to check if the type of that url is equal to undefined and basically the reason we're doing that is because when the page first loads there isn't any um, user specification to there isn't any user request to get any specific page so we'll be loading the first page on demand on on sorry not on demand <laughs> when the um, page first loads so since we're going to be calling this function without any argument and it expects a url um, argument it's going to um, default to undefined so that's why we're checking here so this condition here is checking to, to load um, the ajax when the page first loads that is when we haven't specifically said load any specific page okay all right so if it's type is of undefined we're actually going to set the url and say equal to so since we're going to be calling into the ajax.php file we just put that in the string and then give it a query string of page which will be what will go in those you know the dollar underscore get global variables that we were using in the ajax.php files this is how we are populating them right now so the next um, url um, query item is items per page and that will have a value of items per page which is what we items per page which is what we just set up up there so items per page okay so we concatenate that so next we are actually going to use a jQuery function called get JSON and basically what get JSON is just a shortcut for jQuery Ajax so since we know that we will be expecting JSON we might as well just go call it and the first argument it accepts uh, expects is a URL so that's the URL we just set up over there and the second one is a function which is a callback and that accepts a parameter of data so what we're going to do is we're first going to 
tell the page to show I'm um, sorry hide the loading thingy um, basically that's the paragraph that we've set up over here let me just show you that in a moment so this loading here we're going to hide that when the first when the page first loads and then anytime a click happens we're going to show it then when the data comes in we're going to hide it okay all right so let's continue writing our script 